A day two years in the making for the family and supporters of Jari Wise. I did say this morning that if I heard the word inconclusive, then um, I'll be pushing again. I'm, I feel like I have to push again. I don't know. I'm not, not happy with it. The young father died in February 2020 when a car driven by his on-again, off-again girlfriend, Melissa Oates, struck him as he walked on a poorly lit road near Hewenville. Oates was convicted of dangerous driving, drink driving and failing to stop and render assistance. She was not found legally responsible for Mr Wise's death, partly because it could not be ruled out that he had jumped in front of her car. Initially, Coroner Simon Cooper decided not to hold an inquest, angering Mr Wise's family and supporters. That decision was later upheld by the Supreme Court, but was overturned by then Attorney General Elise Archer. Today, Coroner Simon Cooper found there was no evidence that supports that Ms Oates deliberately ran Mr Wise over. However, he also rejects Ms Oates' evidence that she did not know she had hit Mr Wise and found a complete absence of any reliable evidence that Mr Wise jumped into her path. He said, all these conclusions were conclusions I had reached when I decided not to have an inquest. The holding of the inquest did not change any of them. It's an outcome that's received mixed reactions from Jari's family. Simon has said, yes, that Jari didn't jump in front of Melissa's car. That's what I wanted. The coroner did not make any recommendations, but he strongly criticised former Attorney General Elise Archer's intervention. Coroner Cooper also urged that a law change termed Jari's law be reversed. It requires an inquest into every death where family violence is suspected to have played a role. Coroner Cooper said this would significantly delay all inquests and in some cases cause grief and trauma to victims' families. Isabella Podwinski, ABC News.